Hello guys, in this video I want to talk about Token Pocket. Token Pocket is a universal digital wallet. It is multi-chain, meaning that it supports multiple blockchains. It is a portal to the DAP ecosystem. Now, decentralized applications or DAPs are becoming very popular with innovations like EOS, you know, new platforms uh, are coming from the EOS ecosystem you know, that is going to facilitate the commercialization of decentralized applications now you need a safe and secure way to assess decentralized applications and this is where token pocket really shines all right so token pocket are the ios version it has the android version for mobile phones and it also has a desktop version in this video i'm going to talk about how to download install and set up your desktop version so let's get right on to it all right so yeah i was at token pocket website token pocket pro and i just clicked on desktop and it took me to this page so i can download the windows or mac version i have a mac so i'm going to download the mac version yeah and it takes me yeah and i download the file pretty straightforward yeah, after downloading the file, I can go ahead and set my password. So I'm just going to set a simple password. Confirm. Yeah, and it's time to import my private keys. Now, I already prepared for this. I have test accounts that has fake... Uh, it's not fake it's just private keys that I don't use so you should never reveal your private keys to anyone for any purpose the only reason why I'm making you see these private keys is because uh, I'm not using the account so you're gonna put in your private key you're gonna paste it and click on import and in less than five minutes you have your wallet up and running so the account that i imported was an eos account all right but if you check this you see that eos is not the only cryptocurrency supported by token pocket they support iosc they support tron they support boss they support ed they support binance and support for bitcoin is coming soon eos is multi-blockchain it is universal all right so i've used the mobile wallet the mobile wallet is very cool in my opinion is right now it's better than the desktop wallet but the desktop wallet is also very great and right now i don't think there's any wallet in the market that is as good as token pocket wallet so let's explore it all right so this is my eos account name i just inserted my private key but it brought up my account name automatically so there's the dap right so you can what the the really good thing about this wallet is that it gives you secure access to dapps so what i want to do now is to import my boss account to this wallet all right so i'm going to go and copy my boss private keys once again you're not supposed to show your private keys to anyone the only reason why you can see this right now is because this is a test account and i'm not going to use it for anything i'm not going to put in any fun so to add a new blockchain to this wallet is very simple the process is very simple just go to settings go to networks and then you can see that it already supports the eosio chains actually the default mode is that it only supports eos you have to tick these things by yourself all right so you have to like you know activate the boss network the, the eos force network meet one network or whatever network you're interested in and of course the ethereum and tron network so when you're sure that you know you've ticked it on the settings you can go and import I already imported the boss network so that's why you can see this right simply import by clicking on 
you know and adding your private keys here but right, i think let me just do it again click on import that's the boss network right so when you go to assets you can see okay this right now is on eos and my boss test account yeah that's it if i go to assets now i'll see my boss um tokens instead of my eos token so let's go back to the eos and you know let's try out a DAP. okay so i have succeeded in importing my real account to the token pocket wallet not my test accounts you know so i want to try out this DAP prospectus.io so I just went to the website prospector.io and I'm just gonna click on play game. Use wallets and you know token pockets instantly pops up and then I click on allow and I'm in. I don't have to trust prospectors with my private keys. I don't even have to trust token pocket with my private keys because Token Pocket does not know my private keys. Although I imported the keys to the app, the app, the, the keys does not go to Token Pocket. There's a way it's done. The keys are stored locally on my computer. And yeah, Token Pocket does not hold custody of my keys. So this is a very secure way to log into any game at all right so even if you're not logging in from the token pocket wallet as far as you are already connected you you have your token pocket wallet running on the background you can access any dap okay let's try another dap let's try uh an exchange newdex.io let's try that let's see if we can connect to the new dex exchange you know with the help of the token pocket app So we are on new decks right now. I click on sign in. Gives me a little disclaimer. I understand next. Sign in via wallets. I can choose to, you know, just sign in. Yeah. And then, I mean, guys. I mean, this is the simplest way to assess any DAP, any decentralized application on EOS, Tron, BOSS, Ethereum, you name it. The simplest way to actually navigate the blockchain space right now is Token Pocket. All right. And I can make any transaction here. And, you know, I'm going to be doing it, you know, with the sense of security, knowing fully well that. I'm not compromising my private keys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please, please leave a comment in the description of this video. Token Pocket Wallet is still new and they are still adding a lot of features. Support for Bitcoin is coming soon. Thank you very much. See you around. Bye-bye.